Well, if you've got a floor and you've got a ceiling, you've got a place to hang garments, you've got a place for a coat closet, you've got a place for a mudroom, you've got a place to hang your unmentionables or your towels or your linens and set them up. This is your way to basically build a hanging system in your home at any given moment at any given time and you can pop them down and put them away if you don't wanna use them at another time. Today, for the first time in my almost six years here at HSN, they are on sale. We have never been able to offer a special sale price on our set of two best-selling floor-to-ceiling laundry poles. They're brought to us by Ecos Jankura. I got them, get them out here. Because we put them on sale, it is gonna be the fastest presentation we've ever done, because we don't know how we're gonna have stock to last through the day today. Not one, but two, two. today on sale with free shipping, with four flexible payments in either gray, red, white, or navy. Take it away, my friend. Well, you had it right. If you have a floor-to-ceiling, you got a solution. This is a full-size closet in my hand, and you're gonna get two of them today. Watch the installation. If you have a ceiling, there's the floor, done, done and dusted. You got a full size closet. Let me show you what it comes with. It comes with three arms and these arms can go side to side. They can go up and down and they lock into place. And now you can almost do chin-ups off them. And although I've never done chin-ups since high school. Watch, take a look at that. You got a tremendous weight, 50 garments, 50 coats, 50 pants, 50 shirts. Do you have 50 garments this way in your closet? Well, how about this way and you get two full-size closets and you can put them wherever you want them. Holidays, remember the holidays? I don't know if you have people coming over. Mm -hmm. You know what we did at our place? We put all the coats and stuff on the second bedroom and the back on the second floor on top of the bed. So we did that <laughs> and I got in so much trouble because I have cats. Oh, nice. And I had allergic <laughs> guests that left holding their cats coat. like this, like walking this, out the door? leaving. <laughs> well, Let's just say I needed these. <laughs> better solution, put this by the front door, have an instant closet right there, hang up everything by the front door. It's an instant closet anywhere you want it. Instant mudroom. Maybe you got muddy stuff coming in the door, that sort of thing. Put it in the back door. An instant gazebo. It's an instant room anywhere you want it. You know, take a look at this idea one of our viewers gave us. She put it in her bathtub in the shower. I know you're thinking, wait a minute, bathtub and shower. Why would you do that? Because you can drip dry all your delicates right there. Isn't that the cleverest idea? Now, but my mom, I don't know what you had at home, had one of these things that folded out like this, folded out like this. She filled it up and she touched it, fell on the floor. <laughs> we used to look at it. So this here, maybe put it right by the dryer right by, or the, the washing machine in the laundry room. Pull everything out of the washing machine and hang it all up. You can make it six feet, three feet, nine and a half feet. Hang your handbags off there. Oh, I got to tell you a funny story. My mom, mm -hmm. superstitious. I'm Transylvania. That's the ACOS name is Transylvania name. We're very superstitious. My mom would never allow any woman or anybody to put their handbag on the floor. She'd walk into a high-end restaurant, walk straight to a handbag on the floor and pick it up and go, Mom, Mom, you can't do that. She goes, oh, the good luck, all the wealth is going to flow out. Don't put your handbags on the floor. Hang them up like this. What did you pay for them? You know what I start to think about? People who are in small apartments, people who are trying to, you know, get their first start in the world. You know, if you live in New York, if you're a city dweller and you've got this much space <laughs> and this much life to live, this is the <laughs> perfect solution for you to be able to drip dry, to be able to hang up extra you stuff. You got it. You know, if you've got daughters or nieces who are trying to make it big in New York City and they're not quite there yet, trying to make it big in L.A. and they're not quite there yet, and they've got seven people in a one-bedroom apartment, this is a great smart solution for them and uh, I'm, i kid you not even echo said brett you didn't actually get a sale price on this did you we, it's, it's crazy not on sale here at hsn today 10 percent off for our big organization day 10 percent off because it's our showstopper special more flex than is ever available <laughs> and remember you are getting two, two. it's not just garments. one everything you see you get two of them in white in gray in red or in navy They've come over here to the dryer okay look at this lady here all she does she pops it into the ceiling into the floor and she's right by the front door she's got a perfect solution to hang up her laundry maybe this is in front of the television set where you actually do your ironing. What a great place to do the ironing in front of the TV, because I do everything in front of the TV. Just as simple and easy as that. You don't have to hang it off the iron anywhere. I'm gonna say something to you. You said something so wise earlier, I was listening to you. You're always good at saving money. I, I love the way you package things for saving money. What if I told you, you could save 200 bucks next year actually five times the price that you paid for this. What if I told you that was possible? Well, hold on for a second. You know, I'm a scientist, but, and I, I, I saw this big number. I was walking in that big store with the big parking lot. All the dryers have this big number. They have a sticker. You have to peel it off. Ever seen those? Yep. Well, that's how much energy. Legally now, they have to tell you how much energy this thing uses every time you push start. I go, wait a minute. I got my electrical bill out. I figured out how much they charge for that energy. I divided one number into the other. Do you realize your dryer may cost you a buck every time you turn it on? Let that set in for a second. I used to put my shirts in there to get the wrinkles out. 
A dollar. A dollar. A dollar. A dollar. I might as well have dry cleaned it. It well, might have been cheaper. And not to mention the fact, all the clothes that get ruined in there. Yes. Towels get ravaged. Jeans get ravaged. Your soft linens and cottons, they get ruined. So Akos is saying he'll save you 200 bucks on the dryer bill. Not to mention, right. your clothes will last longer. They you will look it. better. They're all supposed to be hung and air dried. You just don't have the space in the room to do Correct. it. You do now with your Florida ceiling laundry poles. Just as an FYI, if you want black, if you want navy, less than 300 now in both oh, color to go gracious. along with. We are going to put a five-minute warning clock up on the screen right now. This is a presentation that is almost never offered at a sale price. Today, it is our big, bad, get ready and get set for the new year. And, you know, for the coat closets, you know, you may roll your eyes and go, Brett, you live in Florida. What do you know about this? I grew up <laughs> in Chicago. Ooh. I grew up oh, my goodness some gracious. very miserable winters oh. where everybody up there knows what a mudroom is. I, if you would like a mudroom and you don't have the space for one, if you need a place for coat closets and snow pants and, you know, <laughs> wet clothes, I, I do feel your pain. I do know, and that's why I got out of there as fast as I possibly could. But listen, I've got young kids now. There's always garments and jackets and things coming on and off. And so for really everybody out there, this is a phenomenal solution. Oh goodness, There's no great. tools required. It's there when you want it, and it stores and goes away when you don't. Actually takes up less room than a broomstick. Yeah. Put it in the closet. Yeah. You hear that sound, Brett? That's all millions of ladies going, is that a man ironing? No, I cut the cord. It's not even a touch. <laughs> but what I want to show you is what do you do when you're ironing when you got something really big to do? deal with. For example, maybe like a, a duvet cover or maybe a drapes or something. Watch this. Take your floor to ceiling laundry pole, fold down the arm just like that, go grab one of Joy's little steamers, then you can steam this thing right there. Mm -hmm. It's like an instant linen closet because take a look at this. Do all your bl blankets, all your sheets, all your towels, everything in there. Maybe you've got guests coming over. They've not enough closet space in the guest bedroom. Throw that right in the middle of the room. Now you've got youngsters. You, 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 young, young, young ones, young, right? Young, young, young ones, yes. Yes, I'll tell you something. My daughter, here's what she used to do. She was a designer she loved her clothes at three she'd walk with the closet and go pull the dress down no i don't want that one <laughs> grab another one pull that no i'm not going to wear that one how about this you can put the right down to the lowest level so the young ones can actually take a look at their clothes just like so you can lay out your clothes for example a funny story i always tell my mom my dad was a teacher mm -hmm. math teacher he used to come down the stairs my mom was faced the other direction she didn't even look at him mm -hmm. and she used to say you're not going out dressed like that are you i go mom you didn't even look at the guy he goes i know him he can't dress himself put the clothes lay them out right there in the room right there smack dab in the middle because when you're not using it it away. Well, and you know how many of you, you either get into a rental or you get into a new home, they don't even put a hanging bar in the no. closet. It's just an empty space. If you're renting, why spend money on something that then you have to leave there permanently? You could install these in closets and like Echo said, have levels that the kids can reach, have levels that it's comfortable to grab what you want. You, you adjust and set it where you want. Two of these today, you'll have a better designed closet than what you would pay somebody to come and permanently install in a place you don't own and are gonna leave in a year and these pop out and go with you to your next home. I'll show you the secret. Look at those kids coming in because right now they're coming in from the snow, the ice, the sleet that's dripping on your hardwood floor. Put that right there by your washing machine. Take it right out of the washing machine and hang it up. Save hundreds of dollars a year and don't ruin your clothes. And the secret is right here. It's a compression spring. You see this is a compression spring that goes in like that. No tools required. It goes from three feet to nine and a half feet. This is how you adjust the height. I'm going to lock and load it just like that. You get three arms. Each arm holds 15, 16 garments and you get a shoe hook that you can hang shoes from like that. I put baseball caps and I put my scarves in there. Floor, ceiling, solution.